All right, welcome back to the solid axle swap build. Good news is got my new leaf springs in. You can see there are some differences. Got them lined up at the uh, pit front point since that doesn't move. You can see that they are probably about two inches longer. And the spring pin center is farther forward by, I'd say an inch, about an inch. So, <clears throat> and they got a little less arch. Um, so I'm hoping to get those in this weekend and get the truck, get everything tacked and welded in the front end and get it right. But tonight, it's a work, work night, work week. So I'm going to try to weld those buckets in. I made these two plates from this template. And I'll show you what they're for. Outside's going to be good. Welding is going to be fine through there. It's going to be fine on the bottom along there. But the back side, I'm just being cautious. I'll grind some more out of it until it fits nice. But this is plate is going to give me a little bit thicker weld across here. And then I can weld along the boundary of it as well to kind of spread the load out from this joint. While I was unable to get Skies Off-Road to tell me why my bucket was having such a fitment problem with this, when I got it mounted in here, I kind of had to push it so far inboard that I, I got a little bit nervous. Like, there's a lot more pressure pushing up on this outer side than it probably was intentionally, intentionally designed. So, if that makes any sense, I'm kind of stumbling over my words. Regardless, I'll get this plate to fit nice. Got one for both sides. And then, uh... I'm going to go ahead and try to weld all of that in solid. Um, but I think first I'm going to have to take the passenger side exhaust header and cat off, which sucks. I don't think that joint leaks, and it's probably likely to leak afterwards. But I am not going to be able to get a welder, the welder uh, gun up in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off too. Got this catalytic converter out of the way. Two bolts down there, three up here. Had to cut those off, of course, because... This truck did spend a little bit of time in its early life in a rust belt, so they were crap, but the top ones came apart, no problem. All right, I uh, got that cut out, gave me a ton more room in this bucket on the passenger side to weld. All right, I have two of these plates made for the top of the bucket on the inside of the frame. They are mirror images of one another, one for passenger side right, driver side left. They got a little bit of like curve in them. I put them in the press and just kind of push down on a little bit. Probably should put a little more right there in this one. But <clears throat> purpose was kind of make them match the frame just a little bit. Contour the frame. So next step is just going to be throw these up in there and try to weld those things full all around. I'm going to start on the inside try to get my welder dialed in pretty good. I'm already confident enough. I'm experienced enough welder and I'm confident enough in my welding skills. Um, to just go ahead and run, run some passes on the inside where they're a little less seen, but I'll still uh, they'll still be fine welds. But if I can get it dialed in a little better, hopefully this one on the outside you'll see will be pretty. Hopefully good enough to show you guys. It's almost 10 o'clock. I've probably been welding on this thing now for at least dang near two hours. Um, I think it turned out okay. <clears throat> Some of the welds look really good. Some of them look mediocre. This area looks really good, I think. Nice weld, top and bottom. That black bit's just a little slag, no big deal. Stitched it together pretty good on the top edges. A little bit of undercutting here in the corner, but generally a pretty good weld. And I'll show it all to you, because I'm a truthful guy. All right, let's see what we got on this side. I just finished the tops on these. 
You can see where I welded in front of. That looks terrible. I might try to come in here and grind that, but I was welding from way back there. As it's the only place I can get my helmet up in here and see the top. But the top still turned out okay once I got on it. Like I said, there was that plate in the frame to kind of strengthen and stiffen. Looks all right. Passenger side, kind of a shit show, honestly. Up here was very difficult. If you want, if you'll believe it, that top weld right along the center right there, I welded in a mirror. Could not get in here. See, I had good heat penetration all around. This side, a little bit of stacking and a double weld there because I had a hole in the frame. Well, not a hole, just a bigger gap. But this one looks quite nice. This one up in the top. Man, I can't get nothing to focus. That one I think looks really good. But uh, all these on the inside were done by Skies Off-Road for the buckets. That's mine next to it. A little bit bigger bead. That's because that was a flush butted weld and I was trying not to burn through the frame. So I, you know, those were spot welds essentially. Just spot, spot, spot all the way up. So I think it looks okay. Backside. Decent out here. Absolute crap shoot in here. I mean, I just was struggling to get positioning I could work with. It's not going to break. Nothing's going to come off. I tried my hardest to make the ugly welds on the inside, but hey, it's in there. No more welding to be done. And I'll tell you, there was no way I was welding that with the cat in there. At least not right here. This side, it's okay. But that's all the way around everything. I see no holes in it. So, I'm going to call that it on the welding. Maybe, uh, Oh, man. Uh, maybe it might splash a coat of, uh, like, weld-through primer or something on it. We'll see. Maybe not. I don't know what I'm doing, obviously. I never know what I'm doing. Um, I realized I might have made an issue, or made a mistake. I already welded this front crossmember in, there and there, a little bit on the inside and a little on the bottom. Just having the leaf spring up here bolted into the front and the back, as I showed earlier, it looks like the spring is going to have to come back before I even set it down. I'm not even vertical hanging here. Like I'm, it's a little bit forward of the mount hole. I really want it to scoot to the back. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try setting it down the way it is. I'm going to have to get that position and clamp really well. Tack into the flame, into the frame in a few spots. I'll set it down. If it doesn't look good, I'll be cutting those welds off. Pushing the cross member back in the front. I'll probably just cut that whole portion out, it's probably about a half inch, and I'll scoot it back and see how it looks. But I'll go through all that in another video. Hopefully I can keep this one short and sweet. I say that every time and it never happens. But anyhow, that's all for tonight. Feel very good with that progress. Got the shackles, buckets welded in. I will have to pick up two more of the bolts and sleeves that are in the new bushings, new spring bushings, because I only have two of those bolts, which were intended to be the lower shackle bolts. I don't have a 9 16 bolt for the front hanger, so I'll have to get another one of that size bolt, two more washers for each, and you know, a nut for each, and uh, I'm going to have to get the steel sleeves that go in through the uh, springs as well. I'll save that for another day.